realize a very important role for circadian rhythms in the phenotype of dietary restriction. Now, FLY has uh, been actually the best model system now for studying circadian rhythms. Some of the first genes that were discovered for circadian rhythms were in the fly, and they were then found to be conserved in mice and, and humans. Restriction is eating fewer calories that would be normal for your height, weight, age, and activity level. What happens when you actually limit calories to fewer than what be normal? You begin to feel really good. You begin to feel energetic. You begin to feel you are able to do more things in your life. You're able to perform your work better. You're able to play better. You're able to have sex better. You're able to do just about anything you want to do better. We want it to be delicious, wonderful tasting. And after you begin to eat these nutrient-dense foods, strawberries, blueberries, sweet potatoes, maybe some wonderful black beans with a little olive oil, maybe some nuts, you begin to realize that you may have been denying yourself all kinds of wonderful tastes that you would not get in something that's frozen in a bag that somebody warmed up and you just grabbed and woofed it down without even thinking about it. Come on! It's about liberation from thinking that more calories make us more happy. The problem we're working on is the biological aging process. We're talking about what is it that takes young, healthy people and slowly makes them over time sicker, and more prone to dementia and disability and eventually to death. The thing I do for myself is called calorie restriction and that is the only tool that's really been shown to work to slow down the degenerating aging process right now in mammals. Uh, we think it's going to work in humans, we can't yet be sure because no one's really done the studies, but there's enough evidence now that it's becoming a very compelling case. But you have to maintain full nutritional intake. So it's not enough to take your whole Big Mac and eat half a Big Mac. You have to replace that Big Mac with sometimes more food, but much more nutritionally dense food, but fewer calories. It transforms the way the body's metabolism works in a lot of ways that some of which we understand, but we don't know which of those many, many metabolic transformations do it, but something about what happens when you put that on the uh, slows it's like four hours. Could go on the other side of the wall so and look through. Anyway, everybody was pointing. younger and healthier and more vigorous in a way that exercise, eating a healthier diet, not smoking, and so on. Their lives and our lives. Their lives and our lives. I welcome any women and men. And I welcome any women and men. But primarily women. Good on a Blazers fan. I like boards around. That's that gentleman's right there. That's his. Dixon! 